Just before 5 a.m. breaking news this morning, rioting in Kenosha overnight after Kenosha police shot a man Sunday afternoon. Crowds of people angry about what happened are still clashing with officers this morning. Right now, we're still waiting to hear from police. It's 5 o'clock. Good Monday morning to you. I'm Julia Fellow filling in for Susan Kim. And I'm Vince Petrano. Our Adriana Mendez is live in Kenosha this morning talking about uh, what we learned from that shooting and what happened overnight, what is still happening this morning. Good morning, Adriana. Yeah, good morning, Vince. I'm here near 56 and Sheridan, and I just want to show you the scene that we're seeing right here this morning. This is close to the Kenosha County Courthouse, and these garbage trucks that were strategically placed to block these roadways are now charred. Some of the trucks have their vehicle or their windows smashed out. And just across the street here at the courthouse, you can see police officers are lined up in riot gear. There's graffiti out on the building and several of those windows outside of the courthouse are now smashed. Now, anger and violence broke out because of a shooting involving a Kenosha police officer. And we want to show you this video and it's hard to watch for some. The shooting happened after officers were called out for a domestic incident near 28th and 40th Street. The man has been identified as 29 year old Jacob Blake. A witness recorded this moment as an officer pulled the trigger and Blake was shot multiple times. He was taken by flight for life to Freighter Hospital and we've been told he is in serious condition this morning. Overnight violence erupted in downtown Kenosha. Some people looted businesses and set vehicles on fire and destroyed several police cars. Overnight, police deployed tear gas on a crowd to try to get things under control, and a countywide curfew is in place until 7 a.m. this morning. Last night, we spoke to Blake's fiance, and she says two of her three children were in the car when he was shot. You overused it. That's what you did. You shot him numerous times for no reason. It didn't take all that. Disregard that my kids was in the car at all. And you knew they was in there because I kept screaming at before y'all even made it to the other side of the driver's side to get him in the car. I've been yelling at the whole time. Let me get my kids. And this morning, Kenosha police have not released any new information. The Department of Justice is investigating this shooting, and they hope to have a report to prosecutors within 30 days. Now, the police officers involved in this shooting have been placed on administrative leave, which is a standard procedure for this type of incident. Reporting live in Kenosha, Adriana Mendez, TMJ4 News. Adriana, thank you. Governor Tony Evers released this statement regarding the incident, reading in part, quote, We stand with all those who have and continue to demand justice, equity, and accountability for black lives in our country and we stand against excessive use of force and immediate escalation when engaging with black Wisconsinites. State representative from the area, Tip McGuire of Kenosha, released this statement, quote, I am requesting an immediate investigation. My thoughts and prayers are with Jacob Blake and we all pray for his recovery. The status quo is unacceptable. And starting at 8 o'clock this morning, some community members and business owners will begin boarding up businesses. They'll meet at Orpheum Building and will clean up glass, graffiti, debris. And if you want to volunteer, you're asked to bring trash bags and a shovel and a broom.